Curious to see what it's like to live in Greenwich, Connecticut? Let's explore. If you want more information about the schools, trains, cost of living, and more, subscribe to the channel. We post new videos every Friday. There are many reasons to move to Greenwich, but these are the ones that most people tell me top their list. Greenwich has a very low taxes. That usually causes people to come here and check out Greenwich to begin with. Uh, the proximity to New York City is a big part of the, the draw to the area. It's only about 45 minutes by train to Grand Central, and there are four trains to choose from. So if you're a commuter from New York City, this is a really ideal location. You get a balance of the suburban lifestyle with the New York City access to, I should say, the New York City jobs. We have top restaurants and some of the best shopping in the state. Many public schools are rated A+. Plus. And we have some really amazing neighborhoods, which I'm about to show you now. If you'd like a copy of this neighborhood map, I'll leave you with a link below in the description where you can download a relocation package, which includes this neighborhood map and tons of other useful information about making the move to Greenwich. Let's start with Old Greenwich. Old Greenwich has its own train station. You can be anywhere from one to five minutes by car. By the way, we're going to talk about times to these train stations, and I just want you to know we're using car times, not walking times. No matter where you are in Old Greenwich, you're pretty darn close to the station. Uh, most cases, you could walk, uh, but if you needed to hop in the car again, you're only a few minutes away. Maybe except for the, the downtown area that we'll talk about in a little bit. Uh, this is Old Greenwich is really one of the only places where you can just hop off the train and walk to a, a slew of restaurants and uh, other places uh, to relax. Greenwich Point uh, Park and Beach is arguably the best uh, park and beach in Greenwich, and it's right there in your community. So we're gonna talk about home prices throughout the video, and I just want you to know that these are typical home prices. Sometimes houses will sell for less or more than the range that I give you, but about 80% of the properties are gonna sell in this range. In Old Greenwich, condos are fairly rare to find. You may, uh, about one a month will sell, and generally 300, thousand to one million dollars would be a typical price range for a condo in old Greenwich single-family homes sell be between nine hundred thousand and four million and if you're coming here to rent you'll find that the typical rents are between two thousand and fourteen thousand dollars a month all right so let's talk about Riverside Riverside also has its own station just like old Greenwich does However, there is no downtown area adjacent to the train station. That's one of the biggest differences to the area around the train. No matter where you are in Riverside, you're about one to 10 minutes away from the station. Uh, and uh, there, isn't, there also isn't a major beach in Riverside. Uh, the advantage really is that it's slightly more affordable than old Greenwich. Uh, again, in, in Riverside, condos are even more rare uh, selling about one every year or so, between 500 and 900,000. Single family homes typically range between 600,000 and 3 million. And if you want to rent in the area, you're going to pay between 2,800 and $11,000 a month. Alrighty, now let's take a look at Costco. So Costco, like Riverside and like Old Greenwich, also has its own station. Anywhere in Costco, you're going to be about 2 to 11 minutes drive to that particular station. It has two amazing parks. Costco Park on the water is just stunning, and Bruce Park is equally as amazing. It's typically more affordable than Old Greenwich or Riverside, uh, but what you're going to find is that some areas have a little bit less curb appeal or deferred maintenance. Condos uh, sell about one per month at $500,000 to $2 million. The typical single family is going to range from $600,000 to $2 million, and the rent is going to range between $2,000 and $7,000. Alrighty, now let's check out downtown Greenwich. This is possibly the ideal commuter location. 
the main Greenwich station has more trains than any of the other Greenwich stations and you're typically anywhere between one and six minutes away from the station anywhere in the downtown area. There's the most exclusive shopping area in all of the town, Greenwich Ave. If you come to Greenwich, you definitely have to take a ride down Greenwich Ave. And I would encourage you to hop out, walk it. It really just is a, a really pleasurable and enjoyable place to do some shopping, get some lunch or some dinner uh, and enjoy yourself. Bruce Park, as I mentioned earlier, for the Coscob neighborhood, sort of bridges over into, it's really accessible from either downtown or Coscob. So if you have kids, you want to go over to Bruce Park, check out the playground there, and definitely wander over to the park. It's one of the best in town. You can also walk to Greenwich Harbor, uh, and ha there's just some absolutely beautiful views. You're going to notice that some areas of downtown are going to have less curb appeal and some of them are going to have some deferred maintenance. So where you choose to purchase is definitely going to have a big impact on cost and of the curb appeal of the particular neighborhood. Downtown Greenwich is a really great value if you like smaller lots and access to amenities. Downtown Greenwich offers both condos and co-ops. They'll sell between one and two a month, ranging anywhere from $300,000 to $2 million. Single family homes in downtown Greenwich range between $600,000 and $3 million. And if you want to rent, it's going to cost you between $2,000 and $12,000 a month. Let's move on to Bellhaven. Bellhaven is one of the most unique areas of the waterfront in Greenwich. It's just roughly south of the downtown area and what you're going to find is a completely different community than many of the others. It's close to the main Greenwich station, about three to a six minute drive depending on where you are. It's extremely charming and some of the neighborhoods or areas within Bellhaven are gated. So if you're looking for a gated area with security, this is probably a good option for you if you want to be near the main station. Condos are going to range between $600,000 and $900,000. Single family homes are between two and $8 million. And if you want to rent, it's pretty rare. Uh, rentals don't come up too often, but when they do come up, you're looking at $5,000 to $25,000. And all right, let's move on to Byram. Byram has two distinct areas. There is one area where you're going to find that there is uh, less curb appeal and more deferred maintenance uh, to, the, to the homes. There is another area that is probably the most exclusive or has many of the largest, most exclusive waterfront estates. So we're gonna to refer to the, the area uh, of Byram as the area where some of the homes you'll see in the pictures you know, aren't as fancy and Byram Shore will be the area with the more fancy homes. So focusing on Byram Shore first, you have two options for the train here. You may go over the line into New York to Port Chester or you could use the main Greenwich station. Either way, you're about four to eight minutes away from the station. Uh, you're going to have access to Byron Park, which again is just another beautiful, beautiful waterfront park. In Byron Shores, you also have Hawthorne Beach and you have uh, again, as I mentioned before, you're going to see that many of the largest waterfront estates are going to be in Byram Shore. Condos are extremely rare. If you find one, you're probably talking about every five or ten years, so we're not even going to get into pricing there. Single family homes in Byram Shore are ranging between $800,000 and $3 million. And if you want to rent, you're looking between $2,000 and $15,000. But again, uh, much like Bellhaven, rentals in Bi the Byram Shore area are pretty darn rare. Alrighty, now let's move on to the main area of Byram. The real advantage of Byram is that you're super close to the Port Chester station, just a few minutes away. And even if you want to use the main station in Greenwich, you're really only talking four to six minutes to either station. 
uh, you have a, a historic downtown area in Byram. It's the most affordable town in all of Greenwich. So if you're looking to get into Greenwich and you have a super tight budget, this is probably one of the areas that you're going to consider. Uh, and again, as I said before, uh, you can see that some of the properties have a little more deferred maintenance. Uh, and, and one thing to be aware of is that the school ratings, uh, according to most external sites, tend to be lower in this area. So if schools are really important, go ahead and check those rates. So condos in this area, there just aren't that many of them, maybe one a year between five and 600,000. Single family homes range between 400 and $700,000. And if you're going to rent here, you're looking at between $17,000 and $4,000 a month. Alrighty, now let's go over to Pemberwick. Pemberwick also has access either to the Port Chester Station or the main Greenwich Station. You're looking at between four and nine minutes, uh, depending on which station you choose. It's only slightly more expensive than Byram. So again, if you're looking to get into Greenwich and you don't want to spend a ton of money, uh, either Byram or Pemberwick are probably your two options. Condos uh, are rare at about one a year, but if they do sell, you're looking at 300 to 800,000. Single family homes range from 500,000 to a million, and rent is typically between 2,000 and 4,000 dollars a month. Alrighty, now let's talk about Glenville. Glenville is an area that's north of Pemberwick. It also has access to the Port Chester train station as well as the main train station. If you're going to go to the Port Chester uh, train station, you're looking at, you know, somewhere around nine minutes, uh, maybe 11 minutes or so if you're getting, if you want to go to the main station. So you're not terribly far away. Um, there aren't many condos. About one a month will sell in the Glenville area between $500,000 and $1 million. Single family homes typically range between $600,000 and $2 million. And if you want to rent in Glenville, you're looking at about $2,500 to $6,000 a month. All right, let's move on to Mid Country. Now, Mid Country is an area where the Lots are typically larger and some of the estates are larger. That isn't always the case, but in general, that's what you're going to find when you get to mid country. You're probably going to use the main station and you're going to be about six to 14 minutes away from that station. It's typical to see more gates and stone walls in mid country, making the estates there a little bit more private. You're going to have golf courses in your neighborhood, country clubs, and even hiking trails. Condos are going to typically range between 300,000 and 1.5 million. Single families in the mid country are between 800,000 and 4 million. And if you want to rent in mid country, you're looking at about 2,000 to $10,000 a month. All right, let's talk about back country. Now back country Greenwich is the area where our most exclusive estates exist. It's also the most remote part of Greenwich. You still have access obviously to the main station, but you're just farther away. You're looking at between 12 and 20 minutes to get to the main Greenwich station. Uh, you have good access to Westchester Airport, so if that's important, backcountry may be a better area for you. Uh, this is the area that is what I would consider the pinnacle of Connecticut real estate. Many of Greenwich's largest, most exclusive state estates or are right here in backcountry. Some of them are so private that they really just can't be seen from the road. I've done my best to try and shoot this for you, but there really isn't any video that could give you the full uh, scope of what it feels like to be in backcountry. If you ever have the opportunity to come to Greenwich and you want to explore, this is an area I would highly encourage you to take some time and drive around. It's just impressive. It really is the Beverly Hills of the East Coast. What you're going to find is that you have in right there in your backyard, there are golf courses, country clubs, and hiking trails much like in mid country, but it feels even more rural in many ways than mid country did. There are almost no condos, so we're not even going to talk about pricing. Single family homes typically range between 800,000 and $9 million. 
And if you want to rent in backcountry, you're looking at between $3,000 and $25,000. If you want more information about Greenwich schools, cost of living, crime rates, the trains, and anything else related to real estate, click the subscribe button below. We post new videos every Friday. Thank you.